Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to talk about the negative effects of technology. Well, I'm not actually going to talk about the negative effects because I don't know whether these effects are actually negative or whether they have some positive aspects. But these are things that people should be discussing when they talk about technology and things which can have a negative aspect to them. And most of them are social. First of all, communication with machines, not people. I mean, we are familiar already with this when we phone up some helpline and we have to go through a routine of punching numbers into our telephone to get some information. We want to talk to somebody about a problem that we have and we'd rather talk to a person and what do we get? Some awful phone message if you want this, press 1. If you want this, press 2. If you want this, press 99. And you sit there and gradually, gradually get redder in the face and more and more angry. So this kind of thing is very frustrating and can cause a lot of problems. So this is a social problem of technology. Because even with the simple telephone, you used to get a person at the other end who said, how can I help you? And it made you feel happy. So. A second one, taking over the work done by people. We used to have people do a lot of jobs. Now we've got robots. They build cars. Well, they build them very well because they don't get tired. They can work 24 hours a day. They generally don't break down. They don't get ill. They don't have babies and so on. So they are very useful, are robots. The trouble is, the people who did those jobs, what are they to do? Well, hopefully they'll have a different type of job, but that isn't always the case. So we have to look carefully as to whether robots are the best result of these changes. And word processors. Have you ever seen a typing pool lately? That is, people sitting in a room with typewriters typing letters? No. It's gone because everybody does their own letters on a word processor and then presses a button, it prints it out, sends it and so forth. Probably makes the T as well. So that is somewhere where work has been taken over from people and has been put in the hands of machines. One definite negative effect is the pollution. Poisonous byproducts and whether it's nuclear energy which is technology, or heavy metals in all of the electronic devices. There are large amounts of heavy metals which are seriously uh, bad for your health. So those end up in the environment. So, and of course one of the big, biggest ones is lead, which was used in petrol but now of course doesn't exist anymore. Psychological things fitting into society. We get people who actually sit in front of a computer all day and actually live in a different world. They are actually living in a different world. It's a world that is on a screen and it's a real world. They can buy and sell things in the other world. So this is a big problem when people actually get into the real world and try and do the same thing and then find it's not quite the same as that. And something which is maybe not an advantage, uh, not a disadvantage, maybe it's actually a positive effect. Crime, cyber crime has got skyrocketed. At least, however, most money transactions take place on plastic by the internet. And therefore, people don't get hit over the head with heavy objects and their money taken. Not so much. So the lack of use of money now is probably a good thing, so th whether crime should be here or not, I don't know. But think about it. But overall, you know, are these effects negative or positive? Many of the effects are negative, many will be positive. Think about it. What are the negative effects of technology?